Um, you have. You have absolutely blown it wide open. But it leaves me with a huge question for you, Alex. And it's really, you have uncovered the new world order, which is deadly. It's full of what I you call people exist. who are criminals. Well, this is what I'm coming to. It's full of criminals, etc., who seek to run the world and will kill anybody who gets in their way. And you are almost, or have been, a lone crusader powering against them. No, that's so, not, how come... How am I alive? How, how are you still alive? Why am I alive? Well, no, which is the, listen, yeah. listen, listen, which is the explanation. One, they don't exist. Or two, you're part of the conspiracy. No, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. I uh, say the first. Five years ago when Obama and Hillary... I say the second. Five years ago when Hillary... Obama and Hillary... I say the second. Five years ago when Hillary... There is a traitor in the Patriot movement who provides the secret government with accurate names and addresses of Patriots who will fight to protect and defend the Constitution. The Patriot Data Bank is constantly updated so that when the appointed hour arrives, all Patriots can be rounded up with little if any effort. The plan calls for this to be accomplished in the dead of night on a national holiday. The most likely holiday is Thanksgiving, when everyone, no matter the religion, race or creed, will be at home. The targets will be ripe for the picking after a heavy meal, maybe some alcoholic beverages, and during a deep sleep. That the Mount Weather computers described as the best in the world can obtain millions of pieces of additional information on the personal lives of American citizens simply by tapping the data stored at six federal relocation centers. I know from my stint with the Office of Naval Intelligence that these dossiers consist of information collected about American patriots, men and women who are most likely to resist the destruction of our Constitution and the formation of the totalitarian police state under the new world order. Let me get some more my head. Adam Weishaupt's fate is often forgotten in the wake of the Illuminati as the man himself was overshadowed by the monstrous conspiracy that he gave birth to beginning in 1776. Rothschilds, that's right, they the Rockefellers, nah, that's just them niggas style. Illuminati, selling your mind, soul, and your body, and they ain't ever need no rappers to accomplish that. Educate yourself, you fool. But I had to hang up on the guy and delay him out because there's no point in letting him put out his COINTELPRO. What's COINTELPRO? According to FBI records, COINTELPRO resources were expended on infiltrating, disrupting, marginalizing, and or subverting groups suspected of being subversive. Constantly put on the defensive against the federal government every single time. Be it the FCC coming to town and trying to shut down our local micro broadcaster. Be it the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration coming to town and trying to shut down and train the police officers to do blood withdrawals. Be it the DATF. That's 
an example of COINTELPRO. Uh, they send in people to cause violence. They spread lies about... He's trying to take over our rally that a lot of people worked on. Is that once they cause all the infighting and division and problems, then everyone spends their time on that, and then you can't expand your organizations. And every time I go to a big city and see provocateurs, I've seen it in Austin. Are you ready to go? No, That's COINTELPRO. Playing that against people, creating racial division, infiltrating groups, trying to radicalize them, trying to get people to commit acts of violence so they can put them in prison. Get up! Get moving! Get moving, soldiers! Defend the Republic! You have never had more solid evidence that Alex Jones is working for the bad guys than right here, right now. Because what he's doing, he's coming to a peaceful rally, he's trying to stir up violence. Us look like Number one. Number two, he gets us divided amongst ourselves. The reason I know is my dad came to the protest and I didn't notice him. Because the whole time I was there, I had like COINTELPRO poking me and getting in my face. You are not going to get away with your activities. You are not going to get away. Hey, ladies, the second First Amendment, get the hell out of my face. I'm here to tell you right now that we are not your property. You're not part of the team. You're not part of the team. Here's another great example of COINTELPRO. I'm here being friendly. We wanted to give you a speaking spot, but instead of working with us, you're going to be yelling Well, you shouldn't hear me, Mr. President. You are getting the enemy. That's a diversion. That's a diversion. Pure diversion. Wow. That's guilty. If you're not, that's guilty. That's guilty. When you see them demonizing people like Ron Paul, myself, and others, you know it is a COINTELPRO operation. And now you are acting like the property to just come in here and fly right on top of us. Don't worry. Like COINTELPRO. Oh, exactly like COINTELPRO. Thank you for looking us up and empowering us instead of holding us. I wasn't lifting up or but, but But getting back to COINTELPRO, infiltrate your group and we need to incite violence to run off reasonable pacifists in your group and so we can have you arrested and quote break up your group no she wanted to move it no she wanted to put us in jail 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 that's an example of COINTELPRO. They want to radicalize mainline libertarians, conservatives, so we can be politically demonized, so we don't become mainstream and take our country back. You are the worst person I've ever interviewed. No, no, it's basically off it. with their heads, disappear. David, thank you for away. being with us. InfoWars.com, Half Liberty past 11, is you're watching the Liberty Sunday Politics. We have an idiot Freedom in the program will not today. Stop. You Coming will not up stop in just freedom. 20 minutes. You will not stop the republic. Humanity is awakening. Infowars.com. No, you guys are. They also want to radicalize the message because that's how COINTELPRO works so well. I'm the real thing. Do you have any discernment? I mean, I almost started crying last night.
there's a web page here which I will post the links for below which is called uh, Alex Jones Exposed. Now I'm going to go through some of the points here that they put up for why they believe Alex Jones is controlled opposition. Now first and foremost Alex Jones is married to a Jewish woman named Violet Nichols with whom he has three children. I don't think that really matters unless of course it can be demonstrated that he has um, this sort of Zionist or Jewish connection. Um, so we're going to look a little bit more into that because perhaps there is indeed. Alex Jones and his Jewish wife and children all qualify for Israeli citizenship under Israel's law of return. Well, I guess that would be the case if you married a Jewish woman. I'm not really sure, 100% uh, sure about that. Now, this is where the problems start to come in. Alex Jones is funded by at least 34 Jewish sponsors and advertisers who financially support his radio show and websites. You gotta be a little bit careful here because being Jewish doesn't mean you're bad at all. At all. Not one bit. I have Jewish friends. I have Jewish family. No problem with Jewish people. Not even a problem with the Jewish religion. Alright? But I do have a problem with Zionism. All these Jewish corporations that are supporting Infowars, it's certainly suspect to me. Right? Especially when we consider the hierarchy that is controlling the United States and the West as we know it. And uh, I've looked into some of these, like just clicking on them and seeing the connections. And some of them connect right back to where I live in Montreal, the Bronfmans, very powerful Jews within Canada. It's just unending. Um, how is it that all these people, all these powerful, wealthy Jews are putting their money behind Alex Jones' Infowars. Is that not very suspect when we consider that it is the Jewish cabal that essentially runs the West? Okay, let me just stop you right there. Uh, I, I believe I've even heard Jim, because we're all friendly here, but uh, I think I've even heard Jim attacked before by other people for, for not saying it's all Israel or something. Uh, Jim and Robert Grudden, wh what's your take on this whole Israel thing? I'm certainly not saying that Israel didn't do a lot of bad things, but uh, how much evidence is it that, that Israel ran the killing of JFK? If you look at it from the highest level, the people who created the state of Israel, uh, Lord Rothschild is considered the father of modern Israel. And when you look at the people who created Zionism, who then created the state of Israel, who then created communism in Russia, who then created National Socialism or the Nazis in Germany, then you realize these are the same people who are the power structure, uh, the true power structure of the United States. And yes, they, they at least had to acquiesce in the assassination of President Kennedy. And there's claims that he Nazi wouldn't give, orders. there's claims he wouldn't give nukes to Israel. Squirrel! And, that's true. And, and that's what uh, happened. You know, I would interview those people. It's just folks have been too nasty to me when I'm just open and friendly. Like if it's a Tex Mars or somebody, we just have them on because they're friendly. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it, it'd be like if a neighbor ran up and threw paint on your face and said, you didn't invite me over for tea. And I'm like, well, if I'd have known you wanted to come over for tea, I would have had you over for tea, but you've thrown paint on me. I'm not going to have you on now. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what, guys? I, I'm going to twist your arms. Go to the bottom of the hour. Educate yourself, you fool.